around Big Three time, we were really talking about getting in shape and doing a lot of things together and also playing the game. But while we were playing, uh, you went through some real stuff. You suffered a heart attack. And, you know, it really fucked me up because, you know, you're my real friend and uh, you, you were going through a lot at the time. And then we didn't know, you know, you really wasn't telling us. You know what I'm saying? We had to find out, you know, when, when you when you had really was in the hospital and everything that went down. But talk about going through that, bro, and, and you know, staying strong through all that and, you know, trying to figure out what was next. Because, I, I mean, that's, that's really what you was going through that whole time. We was trying to figure out what was next for all of us. It's tough times, bro. I know. It was tough. But yeah, man, it was uh it was a tough time, man, for you know, myself, my family. You know, when you go through something like that, you know, you don't feel, you know us, we can feel invincible at times. You feel like you realize you're not, not invincible. Right. And you feel that moment, think about your children, your parents, your brothers and sisters, family, everybody. I just remember when I was kinda going through it. And I fell out of my house. My son found me. He was able to get me to the hospital. See his face crying, broken hearted. Killed me, even more than the pain I was going through. That's my baby, that's my son, he's 22 years old, but I saw him as a baby. Then you know this, it was tough. You know, this changed my life forever. I, you know, I, I love different now. I'm not mm. afraid to tell somebody I love them now. I'm not afraid to be, be me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was more reserved and laid back. I'm more, I'm pouring to people now. You know, I'm pouring to them in different ways. You know, me and Stack joke and play, but that's the way we pour pouring to each other. Yes, yeah, love. You know, and, you know, I just do that more now than anything. You know, because life's too short. I know it now. I was Man. 40 years old. And, you know, it's five days from my birthday. And it's just kind of, and she go through stuff like that, man. Just be thankful for every day. You know, with this HBCU stuff came around to us, God, just working in my life. And this stuff that's been stacking them for me ever since. And, you know, I appreciate guys like yourself, Kmart, and all my brothers who always keep me encouraged and always check in on me and all that shit. And I never even played with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? But they just know we real ones, and they we just clicked up, and I just appreciate, you know, everything. But, you know, when you go through that, you just... You know, you know who loves you for real, too. Mm. You know, you learn a lot about people, you know. And there's some people that are seeing you vanilla text and, like, you okay, but there's some people that really make sure you okay, right. you know. And, you know, I just really appreciate my children around that time, just, you know, being there. I'm just, you know, just every day I try to be a good dad. I try to be a present dad most best I possibly can. And I try to be even better son to my father and my, you know, because, you know, my parents are getting older and I, you know, so I try to spend more time with them and understand what's most important and, you know, fuck this hoop shit, fuck the money and all that bullshit. Family is, and, and memories is the only thing that's important to me now. And, you know, and that's what I try to do. And I know this basketball keeps me away from my family and, and, you know, back in Indiana or whatever. But I know God got me on a mission to touch more than just my family. And that's just what I'm doing. So and I'm thankful for every day. And, you know, I just, like I said, I don't take it for granted. Mm.